Let's solve one previous question of set theory. This question was asked in gate CS 2014 set to question number 50. Consider the following relation on subsets of the set S of integers between 1 and 2014. For two distinct subsets U and B of S, we say U less than B if the minimum element in the symmetric difference of the two set is in U. Consider the following two statements. Two statements are given. Which one of the following is correct? And four options are given. First, understand what is symmetric difference. If we have two set, let A and B, then their symmetric difference will be A minus B union B minus A. That is one way. Another way is A union B minus A intersection B. If we we'll draw Venn diagram, then let this is set A, this is set B, then this shaded part will be A symmetric difference B. So without the intersection, other part of A and B are A symmetric difference B. And here it is saying U is less than B if minimum element in the symmetric difference of two set is in U. Let me take a small example. Suppose set S contain 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Just 5 element. Now let u equals to 1, 2, 3 and b equals to 3, 4, 5. Now symmetric difference of u and b will be 1, 2, 4, 5. Now what is minimum element here? Minimum is 1 and 1 is in set u. So, you can say u is less than b as minimum element of the symmetric difference present in set u. If s contain 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, then s can have multiple subset. There can be 2 power 5 subsets. So, in that s itself and phi can be subset. So, empty set is subset of every set and every set is also subset of itself. So, we can consider u equals to the set itself like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and b any other subset. Let me consider 1, 2, 5. Now, symmetric difference of these two. Symmetric difference of these two will be 3, 4. Now, 3, 4 is present in u. So, we can say u is less than b. When we consider that set itself has a subset, like in this case, s contain 1, 2 till 2014. If we consider u equals to s and b is any other subset, then always u will be less than v. In this case, we consider u equals to s and b is any other subset. Here we found u is less than v. As the symmetric difference will, will be always present in u. So, when we are taking that set itself as a subset, so that will be less, that will be minimum. So, S2 is true, there is a subset of S that is smaller than every other subset. So, if we are considering S itself as a subset, then that will be smaller than every other subset. So, we found S2 is true. Now, S1, there is a subset of S that is larger than every other subset. Let me take U equals to phi and B is any other subset. So, in that case, ST will be symmetric difference will be 1, 2. So, phi symmetric difference 1, 2, it will be 1, 2. There is nothing common. So, whenever we are considering U as phi and B is any other set, so, symmetric difference will be that set means that will be V. So, we can say V is less than U if U equals to phi. So, phi is the subset that is larger than every other subset. If one subset is phi, other subset is anything, then their symmetric difference will be that set. So, we can say if phi is a subset that is larger than every other subset. Whatever subset you are considering it, that will be less than phi. So, we found both S1 and S2 are true. There is a subset of S that is larger than every other subset and there is a subset of S that is smaller than every other subset, phi and S. 
phi is larger than every other subset and s is smaller than every other subset so answer will be both s1 and s2 are true option a in this question trick is to identify when u will be less than v just you need to understand this statement you can easily solve this question i already discussed shared theory just go through that lecture and if this lecture is helpful for you please like share and subscribe thank you